Hi again, YouTubers. So this is a review on a product that I randomly picked up and it is by Clarins and it is the UV Plus HP Sunscreen Multi-Protection Tint SPF. I have two of them. I have the colors light and medium. These are the only two colors that it does come in. I had originally bought light a while back when um, Sephora had a VIB sale. I think that was in April, I think it was. And I picked up light because I was light then. And now as the summer has gone on, as I've gotten both color to me, self tanners, all those different things, um, a little bit of both, I have felt that I definitely needed the medium one. And this is something that I have always, if you watch any of my skincare videos, is probably the bane of my existence. I am not good at wearing SPF on my face when I do my skincare. I've always relied on it to be in my face products, in my foundations, in the layers that I might put on, whatever I might do. Um, and I tend to always, I should pull this out, I have always used and I still do use and enjoy the Shiseido Sun, UV Sun Protection Liquid Foundation. This is what they look like. If you have watched any of my videos over the years, this is one that has always been a go-to and I do still use it and I am still using it this summer. However, I will say since I guess I started in April, I had tried um, two other brands of sunscreen and they just didn't work out on my skin. And so Clarence has a good reputation for things on the skin, on the face, um, you know, self tanners on the face, things like that even. So I thought, oh, maybe they'd be good with their SPF. And I got a small sample of a regular SPF with that, from them with out a tint to it and it didn't break me out and it didn't give me the white cast. That is my biggest issue with a lot of those true SPFs that you put on your skin as skincare. They either were heavy or they gave a white cast or anything. And if you go back in my videos in like early April, you can see my skin has this like strange white cast in all of the videos and everything I did. And like throughout the day, I felt like my foundation didn't stick and it was just really bad. So I decided to give this a try and I tried it with the light first and I fell in love with it. And then I picked up the medium as the months went, I think about in May. I think I got it in May, May or June, May. I must've been May because it was before I was away. So um, I picked it up in medium and a medium is what I have on here today. I will put a link in here of um, how I apply it. I just use my fingers. I use this every day, whether I'm going to the gym or to the beach. It is what I put on my face and I love it. It is thin, it is great coverage, and it is an amazing finish and texture. So one thing, you wanna make sure you shake these up extremely, extremely well before you put them on. Um, I'm gonna put a swatch on my hand. This is what the packaging looks like, I will show you. Um, basic Clarins red and white packaging. Um, you can see the little thing here that says medium. This one says light. Um, they are very nice squeeze top. You just squeeze the product out. Um, whoops, very easy to use. Uh, I will put a little bit right here and show you the, how thin it is. If you watch, it's gonna move down my hand pretty quickly. Um, that is the medium color. And that is the one you're seeing me put on in the clip as well, is the medium, if the clip's still going. <laughs> and then the light, and I just wanna show you the difference between these because there is a good amount of difference between the two colors. So that's the medium and that's the light. And they are very thin, but you're really shocked by the coverage you can actually get out of these. Um, it's really nice if you see my hands and any like sunspots, but look at the difference between these two colors. Like light is definitely like my winter one and medium is definitely now. I've never tried mixing these two, which is unusual because I mix colors, what did I do with my, okay, oh, there it is. Sorry about that, I couldn't find my little rag. Um, I've never tried mixing these, which that's kind of unusual because I, for foundations, mix them all the time, so why wouldn't I, maybe as I get into fall, we'll see as this goes, um, if I end up needing to mix them, we'll see. I will say that, um, I haven't used much of them and I use them every day. Like I feel, that's the only thing, you can't see how much is left. But I feel like the medium's probably to like right here and the light's probably to like right here because I didn't use the light for as long before I started self tanning and then going out in the sun. Um, but yeah, I will say the two main things that make me love this product is it doesn't break me out and it doesn't cause that weird white cast 
type of feeling. Really awesome. Uh, helps foundation stay on amazingly. Like, I love this as a primer too. Like, it's really awesome. Um, it's great for working out. It doesn't like run on you. It does, you know, it's putting SPF on your face for when you leave the house and you go to work out and things like that. But it's still giving you that little bit of extra coverage, coverage and it's really, really awesome. Um, I'm really enjoying it. You can buy this at Sephora, which makes it very easy to get a hold of. Um, I wish they sold Clarence or Clarence sold their lip items at Sephora because I love that lip thing is my favorite thing ever. Um, but I really, I, I'm just in love with this. I just think it's an awesome, it finally convinced me to use SPF in my skincare. Does that make sense? So um, a little bit of breakdown on these products, pigmentation on this. I think they are awesome. Like I think they've got great coverage. They're really nice. Like you see that finish. It gives you a satin like finish. It's not glowy and dewy, but it's not matte. It's got a little bit of that satin look in it. But the pigmentation on this is awesome. It really has great pigmentation and it just is true to what you see when you squirt it out of the bottle. So five out of five texture. It's really smooth. It's really nice. It dries very quickly. It has a slight, you know how SPF has that little bit of like, not tackiness, but just like doesn't move as much. It does have that, but I think that's what makes my foundation stick better. I'm not going to lie to you when I wear it. Um, so texture is a good solid four out of five. Longevity, it stays on me all day. Um, you should, when I go to the beach, I do put it in my bag. And if I remember, if I remember, I reapply it. I've not gotten any sun on my face um, or sun, like I, I haven't had any issues with doing it that way, but I'm really bad about remembering to apply it again. So, but it does last. Um, it does say, I think, to reply, reapply it every four hours. I don't know. Um, it is not waterproof. Key thing. That is one thing that, that is why I use this if I'm going in the water. I will say that. This is water resistant, not waterproof, water resistant, but that is not. So longevity is good. It's, it's a three and a half out of five application. It's easy to apply. You just rub it on your hands and kind of move it in and then just blot it on. And I think it does a great job. So application is easy, four out of five packaging. I actually really like the packaging. I mean, it's simple, but I like this the best. Like that's, it's actually the exact same type of dispenser as this. So that's probably why I like it. So um, packaging, you know, it's a, it's a good solid four out of five. Um, price on this is $44. How much do you get in this? 1.7 ounces. In this you get one ounce. Like I said, it felt like it's taken me a while to get through this and you don't need much of this. I feel like I need more of the Shiseido than this. Uh, it's a three and a half after out of five. It's not the best price, but it's not horrendous. And it's lasting me a really long while because I don't need a whole lot of it. I've got some on the lid. Um, that's fine. So product overall, I really, really, really love it. I'm really enjoying it. I think it's going to be an awesome staple for me throughout the entire winter. And it's just a really, really nice, great product. So product overall on this is a good solid four, four and a half out of five. I'm really impressed with this. It is the first sunscreen that has convinced me to wear it continuously every day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review and uh, please let me know if you have any questions. The rest of my face is Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. Yeah, right? Luminous, yeah, Luminous Silk. Um, Hourglass Bronzer, the lighter of the two, I don't remember the name. Uh, Makeup Forever Cream Blush 220, Clinique Pop, Cheek Pop in Melon, um, Tarte CC Corrector, Lancome Waterproof Concealer, Besame Powder Under My Eyes, Urban Decay Naked Powder, Laura Mercier Highlighting Powder, NARS Pro Prime on my lids, Anastasia Brow Wiz, Brow Duality, and Benefit Gimme Brow. Too Faced uh, Semi-Sweet Chocolate. I've been using this so much during the summer. Uh, mousse and Truffled on the crease. Bonbon on the lid. Frosting in the outer V and on the lower lash line. Um, Estee Lauder Double Wear Sapphire Eyeliner on the water lines. 
Estee Lauder Little Black Primer on my lashes with Benefit Roller Lash on my lips Makeup Forever 1C Clinique Bear Pop Lipstick and that is that. Shirt is so cute. It's Stitch Fix. I love it. Necklace. This one is called the Zuni. It's awesome for summertime. Loving it. Um, and my pendant uh, monogram disc. Um, Tiffany Ball and the, oh, what is the name of this? I can't remember the name of this one. 